In this video, you'll learn how to connect an email address to a broadcaster. Communication between your organization and your community is consolidated around broadcasters. When you attach an email address to a broadcaster, you can send an email blast to your community. By taking a few extra steps in setting up your broadcaster, you can also accept incoming email. This will allow recipients to reply to your bulk email, and you'll be able to initiate one-on-one -on -one emails directly from your control panel. You'll also be able to keep track of email correspondence in your people database. Step 1. Create a broadcaster. Start by clicking on Communication, Manage Broadcasters, and Add New Broadcaster. Give your broadcaster a name. If you do not have a custom domain, you can create an email address using the format user at nationslug.emailnb.com. My nation is called HowTo, so my email address might be mybroadcaster at howto.emailnb.com. If you have a custom domain and want to use Nation Builder as your email provider, your email address will be in the format mybroadcaster at yourcustomdomain.com. For example, mine might be mybroadcaster at howto.com. However, if another company manages email for your custom domain, such as Google Apps, Namecheap, GoDaddy, etc., you'll want to create an email address before adding it to a broadcaster. When you're ready, Click Create Broadcaster. Step 2. Basic Broadcaster Settings Once you create a broadcaster, you'll be taken to Settings Basics. There are several things you can adjust in this window. Name. This is the name that will appear in the from line of your email. Only this person can send messages. Select a control panel user and they will be the only person who can send email, tweet, or post to Facebook from the broadcaster's accounts. Who can view this broadcaster? The history of correspondence with a particular broadcaster is always viewable to admins. You can also share the broadcaster with another permission set. Once you've made your selections, click the Save Broadcaster button to save your changes. Step 3. Email Settings Once you save the broadcaster, click on Settings, Email. You'll see your email address in the first box. Some important things to note. If you check the box next to Receive Incoming Email for this address, Additional options will be displayed. If you want incoming email messages to log in your broadcaster's dashboard, or if NationBuilder is your email provider, you must check this box. If NationBuilder is your email provider, this step will actually create the email address. Checking the box Mark New People as Prospects, Not Supporters ensures that people have to actively indicate their interest in receiving bulk mail from your organization. Supporters are people who have opted into receiving communication from your organization. You can choose a control panel user to be the point person. If the emailer already has a point person, they will not be reassigned. You can tag people who email the broadcaster with one or more comma-separated tags. In our own use of these features, we found automatically tagging people who email the broadcaster is not as useful as adding them to a path step and assigning a point person. We recommend checking Add People Who Email to a Path Step to create a workflow for incoming email. You can find more information on this in the Getting Started section of our documentation. If you have a third-party email provider, we strongly recommend checking the box next to BCC your email address on all outgoing emails, but not blasts. This will make sure you keep a full copy of correspondence both within your nation's control panel and your email inbox. Click Save Broadcaster to save your changes. Once you click, you'll see a success message at the top of the screen. Your setup is complete if you are using your nation's email address or Nation Builder as your email provider. However, if you're using a third-party email provider, you'll see a message saying something like, your DNS settings do not have the appropriate MX records specified. Please note that this message is not an error message. We're receiving this message because you checked the Receive Incoming Email for this address checkbox and use a third-party email provider. When using a third-party email provider, you must set up forwarding to your broadcaster to have incoming mail log in your nation. This does not affect outgoing mail. Now that your broadcaster is set up, you can send an email blast or a one-to-one -one email.